Mason Sanzatella, who was the Rockies' best starter last year in the shortened season, he pitched very well over 12 starts, 5 and 3, 3.44 ERA. One thing about today's game, after watching all the strikeouts yesterday, you have two of the lowest <laughs> strikeout artists in the game, and Sanzatella and Stroman going in the game today. Two guys rely on getting ground balls. So here's Nemo who leads the National League in batting at 471 leads the league in on base percentage at 571 and he's got one on one hop to CJ Crone stop sign for Crone so he says I don't need your help here second pitch and a ground ball out and that is the key to Senzo Francisco Lindor the switch hitting shortstop one two pitch hit to the left side backhanded by Fuentes has to make the long throw good scoop by Crone. And they get Lindor. A couple of ground ball outs. That's what Senza does when he is pitching well. Yeah, he is really off to a good start in this one. Contrast that to the two outings against the Dodgers when he just labored out of the gate. Dominic Smith did not start in game two last night, but did pinch hit. Left-handed hitting outfielder will swing at the first pitch. And guess what? Ground ball hit the crone. Flips it to Senzatella. A seven pitch first inning for Senzatella. No score as the Rockies come to bat. I was looking at his numbers at Coors Field. He's only started here twice, both in 2019. One as a Blue Jay, seven innings, gave up four runs, three earned, and once as a Met, seven innings of scoreless ball to get a win. So he's enjoyed pitching here so far in his career. So the Rockies get the leadoff man on against Stroman. Double play ball McNeil with the shovel and door with the turn four six three double play easy as you come and Stroman erases the base runner infield over shifted to the left 2 0 Alonzo to ground ball right side base hit pass Crone into the outfield as Blackman plays it back in Pete Alonzo goes against the shift with an opposite field single on the ground the Mets have their first hit of the game and sometimes you're going the other way. And sometimes you're just a little late. And I think that's what happened to Pete there. So the Mets have their first base runner of the day. And now Michael Conforto, who had a couple of hits on the opener yesterday. 2 1. Conforto, it's a line drive, right center. That's a base hit. Alonzo waiting for the line drive to go through. Got a late start as he advances toward third. Conforto digs for second. He makes it standing up. It's a devil for Michael Conforto. And the Mets have runners on second and third. Nobody out. Well, it's good to see. He had a good first game yesterday. Hit his first two balls right on the nose. And this one even hit harder. Defense a little bit to pull as McMahon and that ball shot. That looked like an old uh, AstroTurf hit. Almost got to the wall, right? So here's McNeil, who had the big two run double yesterday. He's got two in scoring position here. Infield playing back. They'll concede a run on a grounder, and it's grounded. That'll get the run in. McMahon makes the play on McNeil. Alonzo comes home, and the Mets have a 1 0 lead. So McNeil picks up his fourth RBI of the season, his third in the last two games. Outstanding by McNeil. The ability not only to drive it in, but move Conforto over. Conforto at third, and a ground ball right to Trevor. Good pickup, holds the runner, and he gets the out at first. Well done. Well, and, and well done that he came and got the ball because I'm not sure if the runner at third and Conforto was going to go or not go. But as soon as he saw Trevor charge the ball, come get it, then he held up. Now remember that you've got Stroman on the mound, one of the best fielding pitchers in baseball. So that comes into play here in a bunting situation. That's a nice bunt by Sensatella, but Stroman goes after the lead man dropped by Lindor. They're going to say out. I don't know about that. Bruce Dreckman with the call saying it was on the transfer, but that ball came out pretty quickly. Mets might have caught a break there. We'll see if the Rockies challenge the call. And he caught that on kind of in the webbing, but he didn't have two hands in there. Tried to flip it over to his hand. I don't know if he caught that. The Rockies are not going to challenge it, so it goes to the one-six put out, and the Mets, I think, catch a break there. Pete Alonso he singled through the right side the vacant right side in his first at bat Alonso swings and lines one to third on a hop over to first in time to get Pete and quickly two outs here in the fourth inning a good play by Fuentes Alonso hit that ball pretty sharply to Fuentes's left but he's able to pick it off spin quickly and make an accurate throw to first to retire Pete 
Put a little air under that throw as well, but it got there in time and got Pete by a step at first base. Good play by Fuentes. Sends it tell already the 2 2. That's hit on the ground right down to first, and it's past the first baseman. And into right field, heading over to third is Conforto, and aboard at first is McNeil. Now that was a shot that Crone probably should have had, but went right through him. Right through the wickets, right through the five hole. The Mets have runners at the corners now with a couple out, and J.D. Davis at the plate. So a chance for J.D. Davis, and he lines one into center field for a base hit, and that'll bring in a run. So the Mets cash in the Rockies' mistake. J.D. Davis with his first run batted into the season, drives home Conforto, and it's 2-0 New York. Stroman, a right-hander against the righty Garrett Hampson. One ball, two strikes, pitch. Lifted toward right. Conforto fights the sun a bit, moving to his left, has the sunglasses on, now dives and makes the catch. <laughs> Boy, that was a play for Michael Conforto that did not come easy. Looking up into the blue sky, the sun shining, even with the sunglasses on, Conforto was fighting it the whole time, and at the last moment, lunged and dove to his left, securing the catch. No visiting pitcher has ever had back-to-back -back starts at Coors Field scoreless for six innings or more. Hmm. Last time Stroman pitched, 2019 at Coors Field for the Mets, seven scoreless innings, six scoreless innings so far today. Black minute to plate, and line drive, pace hit. Trevor around third, he'll come on home. Charlie comes through, it's a one-run game. Well, this is the first opportunity today with the Rockies and hitting with the runner in scoring position. Three and one to Lindor with the runner in scoring position. And Lindor laces one down the right field line foul. Did he hurt himself there, Lindor? Comes up limping after the swing. I don't know what happened. I thought he hurt his thumb. Back in the batter's box, 3-2 count. And he flicks one in the air, foul. And back goes Fuentes to make the play. That was not a good swing by Lindor, and he's retired for the first out. So that certainly bears watching. Again, the 3 2. And Fuentes hits a grinder behind oh. the back grab by Stroman, but can he get it there in time? Just <laughs> barely. That was bizarre. Tremendous stop by Stroman behind the back. But he threw it on 17 hops to Alonzo and it barely trickled there in time. I mean, behind him, he could have set and thrown it, but just got there in time. He got there. It was on target. And he's pointing at the back yeah. of his glove. This is gold. Now puts the bat into position. The 3-2 is a fair ball down the right field line. He jumped on that fastball. He's at second, thinking three. McMahon's relay throw, and they got him. A grab and a diving tag by Josh Fuentes on another great relay throw from Ryan McMahon. Blackman drove in the only Colorado run with a base hit to center field, bringing home Story in the seventh. See the full shift on against him. Big lead for Story at first. Led the National League in steals last year, and he's running first pitch. McCann with the throw, Lindor with the tag, he's out, and the ball game is over. James McCann guns down Trevor Story, and the Mets win it. The umpires have the call. Story is out. The ball game is over. The Mets beat the Rockies two to one.